Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's tutorial, I'll talk about maintain stock item in SQL Accounting System. Now, let's go to SQL Accounting System. Go to Stock Module. Go to Maintain Stock Item is over here. Now, please bear in mind, you may not purchase SQL Stock Module, okay? But you still can maintain the Stock Module for billing purpose. The only difference is you cannot control the quantity. Example, there is any um, stock that is missing, you cannot do the adjustment. So you still can maintain the stock or service for billing purpose, no problem. Basically what you need to do is you just go to maintain stock item. There will be a listing of all your stock item, similar like your maintain customer or supplier. Basically, over here, you can see all the items and if you want to search one of the items, maybe you want to use the description to search it, just type the description and it will come out. And over here, quantity is actually the actual quantity on hand inside the system. So that's why it's impossible for you to have negative stock, right? So you may need to do a stock check and stock adjustment. Then it required our stock module, okay? So if you want to use another additional field for you to search for one item, no problem. As long as you can see all these columns, right click any column header, click on the field chooser, you can actually make use of any of this column, maybe remarks one, you can just left click, do not release, then drag, drop. So you have remarks one, no one, click on it, left click, do not release, drag, drop back, or right click on the column header, remove this column. Then over here, most left, there is a very small button with multiple lines. This is also another way for you to call out a specific column. Okay, let's say remarks one. Here is the remark one. Untick, then disappear. So same thing, you can directly export this grid to Excel just by right click any column title, grid export, export to Excel. So let's create an item, click on the new, then give an item code. Remember item code is alphanumeric, so you can be wording or numbers. Let's create an item called SQL accounting basic. Okay. You can copy paste description or you want to put in other character like uh, Chinese wording, uh, Arabic wording, no problems. So you can keep inside over here is called description two. And if this you have the stock module and you want to do stock control for this item, then you need to take the stock control. You do not want to control the stock or this is actually a service, you can just untick it. So the only difference is if this one is thick, then it will appear inside your stock card. Okay, that's all. And if this item got serial number, you need to purchase the serial number module, then click on it, then you can do serial number for this item. So remember, every item is belong to one item group. And this is directly related to your accounting posting when you do purchase or selling or this is for grouping purpose. So if you do not understand what is item group, please refer to my tutorial video on item group. So base UOM is called base unit of measurement. Normally, this is the smallest unit of measurement. For example, you have the smallest is unit. Okay, then you have sometimes when you purchase is not in unit, it's by one dozen, okay or by container and so on. So what you need to do is call multiple unit of measurement is over here. So the base is called unit. Then you click on the plus. If you sometimes sell in dozen, so just put dozen. The rate, let's put 12, meaning one dozen equal to 12 unit. So it always multiply to the base UOM. And when you purchase, you purchase in box. And one box actually got 100 unit. Okay, it always refer to the base. 
you cannot have one box equal to how many thousand. You cannot. Okay, it always follow back to the base. So that's why before you start to do any transactions, please figure it out and what is the base UOM that is very important. Okay. Then you can put in the reference cost. That means this is the reference purchase price and reference selling price, reference price, reference selling price for different unit of measurement. If you don't have, then you can just refer back to the normal unit. You can leave it blank or totally leave it blank. Also, no problem because you can actually edit or put in the cost of purchase or selling price during transaction. Okay. Shelf is just for you to do a reference. Reorder level is let's say it dropped to a certain level, let's say it dropped to five. It is only left five unit inside the system, and system actually will prompt you that it reached reorder level and reorder quantity as a reference. Lead time is normally how many days when you purchase and it for your supplier to send to you for reference purpose. And this one is useful during a uh, bill, bill of material. Okay, uh, this part, the print BOM planner that will be useful, which I will explain in uh, other session. No more output tax, input tax for Malaysia. So last time this is for GST purpose. You can put in some remarks one, remarks two, barcode. Okay, tariff code. This one is very useful if you are a SST Malaysia sales tax registrant. Then for those item, for every item, you need to put in the tariff code for those that you sell out. Okay, because it will map to the SST 02 form. Same as others transaction or maintenance, you can actually do attachment. You can put in some certificate for this item if you want to, it will, which will actually link to a document. Just click on the add button then click on the document or picture that you want to link. You can have unlimited uh, attachment. Okay. Over here is called customer price. Customer price is useful when you have one item but selling it at different, selling at different pricing. Example, normally this item I'll sell at 500. Okay. So I save it first. Then over the stock, maintain stock. I need to go to maintain stock price tag. Now over here I have dealer, end user or others price tag. Then during maintain of customer. Example kitty. I put kitty is under dealer price. Save it. So normally I sell 100 but when I sell to a group of customer under dealer one is equal to maybe 80 then plus again maybe it's not a group of customer it's a specific customer then it's under maybe uh, MBA enterprise so same things one is equal to 60 so for this particular item now I have three pricing 180 and 60. By doing this later on during transaction, let's go to sales invoice. When a walk-in customer buy that item from me, you use the standard price 100. But when a customer which is fall under the dealer grouping price tag. You will use 80 or when that particular customer is I have a special setting for him it becomes 60 so the pricing will come out automatically this is will be very useful if you are a distributor meaning that one item have multiple pricing okay so let's go back to stock maintain stock item let's continue item so this is price the customer price okay uh, remember this one it only will be available in professional set okay same 
theory apply to supplier price that means you have change from supplier you have different pricing but normally no one use this because the pricing from supplier is controlled by supplier so bill of material okay additional module okay if you are doing production this will be very useful that means you need to do assembly i will have another session on bill of material more description is this item code is SQL account basic have a description and sometimes you may need to key in a uh, very much a lot of additional information related to this item during your stock printing or not stock print the document printing such as invoice example size okay example color and so on so let's say I put in this under more description so when I doing transaction I select this item. Remember, I can do field chooser pull out more description. More description that you maintain under maintain item will appear. Of course, you can edit it, delete it, no problems. But it saves a lot of time. Let's say, imagine your description is very long. Cannot be every time you need to retype the whole things, right? So it's a shortcut for you to maintain all the description first maybe do some minor amendment during transactions opening balance opening balance is important if you're doing stock control and this opening balance is as per your tools option general ledger your system conversion date okay that this quantity that you put in over here is as at system conversion date so you need to put in if you cannot remember or anything, then maybe later on you do a stock adjustment also can. Stock category is additional module. I'll explain in other tutorial video. Alternative as a reference, maybe this item is sold out and is there any item that can replace it as a reference only? Customer item is important if you are dealing with hypermarket and things like that because Maybe this item you maintain here is called SK Accounting Basic. But when you sell to a specific customer, every enterprise, that customer say you cannot invoice me using this code and this description. You need to follow my code. That means the customer code. Maybe the customer code is this one 001 SQL. Then this is like this, meaning that you maintain this but during print out for customer at AB Enterprise it will appear this one so imagine you are selling Coca-Cola to Chargers Code or so the whole Malaysia distributor is selling the same things to Aeon if everyone using their own code to build Aeon then Aeon will have big problems so they will request everyone using the code maintained inside Aeon system. So when you invoice them, you need to use that code. So this is how to use. Supplier item is when you're doing purchasing from your supplier. Similar, you're purchasing Coca-Cola from Coca-Cola factory. So everyone sending in PO. If everyone sending in PO using own code or description, then Coca-Cola will have problems. So that's why everyone need to follow what is the item code or description used by Coca-Cola inside their system? So you need to select the supplier, then what is the code, item code they are using and the description they are using. So when you use do when you do a purchase order and similar purchasing document, then you will follow back the code used by your supplier. Barcode, you can maintain a barcode number over here, then you can print out barcode using SQL accounting system. You can put in picture, but normally I highly not recommend you to put in picture directly over here. You can right click look, but use attachment. Unless, unless you want to show the picture inside your document, maybe invoice, then this is the only way. That means you need to attach the picture inside over here. You can put in the minimum quantity and maximum quantity also. The reason I do not recommend you put in picture, imagine if you have 100 item, every item have picture. So the loading or speed will be very slow. Okay, I normally I uh, in what industry? Maybe you are in jewelry. Then this is very important. 
but normally in jewelry you already have your POS system so for accounting wise normally you will not make use of this okay so this is the rough idea on how to maintain a stock item the main thing is have a code have a description whether you want to do stock control or not take or untake have a base unit of measurement maybe a reference price will do all the rest is depend whether you want to put in the information or not with the basic information you already can do the billing so this is how you do maintain stock item and once again i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you for watching Thank you.